low for me. How are you? I'm just decided this is just going to be show and tell. If anyone wants to show and tell us something, show and tell us something. So I apologize that the quality of this presentation isn't very good. Um, so some of you have maybe heard about APIs, and uh, I used to not know what that what that meant. And unfortunately, it's a, it's a difficult thing because it uh, describes lots of different things. So API stands for Application Programming Interface. And it's like the most broad way to think about it is like the ways that you can interact with other things. So like you can call uh, like the series of things that we learned for the DOM, that's the DOM API. Okay, the series of specific like processes and methods and things that are built into Node, that's the Node API. Okay, so these are like the specific things that are part of a particular way that you interact with a body of code or whatever, right? So just to give you another example, um, so Again, even the web API means multiple different things. But uh, the way that I've heard it uh, very commonly used is
local wikis, I've talked about it before, projects I used to work on, and uh, get sort of a network of community-based wikis where you, know, you can put any information about the place where you live. If you haven't yet, check out the open one. Um, but the local wiki makes this data available via web API, and you can find the documentation here. And it's actually really nice because they have like a, like a graphical description of it, right? So you can actually browse like a lot of the API content through your web browser to figure out what's there and then maybe later write your application. But this is really nice. So, you know, we can see things. Why can't I go down? Sorry, guys. Anyway, you can see, so these are some of the different things that we can get access to. So let's just look at the region. And this has more sub-elements within regions, right? So you can get the slug, which is like the, um, like the little, it's like an abbreviation for that region. The geometry, this is really neat because local wiki has maps. So you can actually find out, like, say you want to compare, you know, if there are regions that overlap other regions. You can get the actual geometry for what the outline is of that particular city. Uh, and so here we go. So, and then it just has all the results, right? It displays them. So it lo it's a JSON object. Um, so for this region, it looks like the slug is Conway, and the full name of the region is Conway. So it's local wiki region one, right? And then this is the geometry. Uh, so everything that is in the Conway, the Conway local wiki is defined by the polygon that is outlined by these coordinates, right? Then we've got some other stuff. You know, here's San Francisco, et cetera. And we can, you know, keep clicking through the API. No, this is still just the geometry. But there's lots of other stuff, like you can get individual pages, you can get the full content of individual pages. And the nice thing is that you can do so what I did here is, uh, I'll just do it again. So uh, you can take that uh, URL that it gives you in the API, right? Like this is, it's not the same URL as going to that local wiki, right? That's like localwiki.org slash SF, right? And that'll take you to an index.html. This URL uh, will take you directly to that object in a string. So when we do curl, that performs an HTTP GET request, right? And if we just do it, it will, so let's see what happens when we do it. Ah, oh, there it is. So there's all the data, right? It's one big string, really handy to work with. And if we want to, we can then uh, redirect it right here into regions.tap. Right? So say we want to list them all the regions and all of their geography. So we do that, and it's like, oh. So now we have that. So now we can take a look at regions.txt. We have a beautiful string, right? It's plain text, very, very easy to work with. And then, uh, you know, so then you can turn it into a JSON object, right, with uh, json.parse and uh, very easily start to work with the specific elements of this data. Um, um, so there's lots of different kinds of things you can uh, do with this. Um, the, you, know, you can write applications that make queries like this and then take that data, whatever data you get, and you know, manipulate it in some way and spit it out in a different format. So uh, one applet, so like, Right now, local wiki has a way for you to see uh, global acti recent activity. So like whichever uh, region is 
there's activity on, you can see it in reverse chronological order. Um, but while it was in development, it didn't have that feature. Uh, but something that I wanted to do was to see, like across all the different regions, where there's activity. So it's like, you know, oh, there's a bunch of people doing stuff in Philadelphia, and like, let's help them out, right? And this was part of my work as a community person. Um, so uh, I, with James, helped me write a little, uh, a small program that would perform a request like this. It would do a loop, right? It would go to every region and ask, hey, what do you have that's in your recent changes? Then reformat it, cut out the pieces that I don't want, and then it would just spit me out some data that was the uh, uh, reverse chronological across all the regions, right? And that's just a command line tool, right? Like it didn't have to be a website, it's just a command line tool. Um, and the really nice thing about building really small tools like that is all you have to worry about is the functionality, right? You don't have to worry about making it look pretty, you don't have to worry about where it's going to live online, right? It's just a thing that does one thing, you figure out what you want it to do, and then it does it, right, in your terminal. Then you have a big bunch of data, and then you can use that data you know, do you want to host it on a website? Put it on the website, right? Like, do you want to visualize that data? Visualize it. But the important thing is that you have the little nugget that you can easily use and then do other things with. So that's just a little bit about just like a tiny, tiny example of what you can do just to get at the basic concept of an API. If you're interested in working specifically with the local wiki API, uh, this person, Seth Vincent, who lives in Seattle, and is a really great person who has been by the Twitter room before. What does it mean now that local wiki is globally activated? What does it mean? Yeah, what's the significance of that? There was an announcement. Yeah, it just means that if you want to start a local wiki in your city, you can now. Okay. I apologize, I can't find it right off the bat, but I will find uh, the post that he wrote about that like very easily walks you through writing uh, Node.js app using the local wiki API, and I, it, it's very, very straightforward, and I think it's a good template uh, for just giving you the basic concept of the pieces that you'll need if you want to write a small program using a web API. That's all.